In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight arrow points infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see the first arrow comes uh, with the shadow effect. And then you can add the detailed text along with the icon. When I click with a different color, the second option comes the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight. So you can see here, this is how the slide looks and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the stars and banners i'm going to choose this eight point star click it here and then you can change the height and width to 3.75 and shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle and i'm going to just rotate this shape a little bit you can see here i want this point to come here so i'm just going to rotate it like this you can see here exactly at the center if you want you can just zoom it and check it all right so it looks something like this okay now once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to add one rectangle draw one rectangle now in this case we don't know whether it is overlapping or it is going to the other side so in that case what you need to do is first of all make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape and go to fill and increase the fill here can you see here or you can just change the color also if you want all right so what happens here is if you move it here you know that okay that means you have crossed this uh, section so this area so now i'm just going to put it exactly here like this you can see here and this one like this okay and then i'm going to add one more shape go to insert shapes from the basic shapes or from the block arrows i'm going to choose this one which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon shape outline no outline again make somewhat transparent rotate it i'm going to make it rotate right 90 degrees and i'm going to put it exactly from this end to this end and if you want you can make it less you can see here like this and move it up all right so you can see here our design is ready for the for, i mean at this stage so what i'm going to do is uh, instead of you know if something goes wrong to do it again i'm just for the safer side i'm duplicating this slide okay so if something goes wrong we have one backup slide so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this part okay so to do that one first of all what i need to do is i need to duplicate this one you can see here select this one press ctrl d shape format align center align middle all right so now i'm going to select this green rectangle hold the shift key select the blue one merge shape and say subtract okay so you can see here it looks something like this and then i'm just going to select this one and even this also merge shape and subtract it so we end up getting a shape something like this can you see here all right okay now the next thing is let me just do a transparent also now i'm going to select press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to place it here in the second place can you see here this area so you need to spend a little bit of time by aligning this one you can see here or what you can do is one more thing we'll try i've deleted that one press ctrl d to duplicate and alt right arrow key you can see here and then i can just put it like this also i think this is much more easier press ctrl d alt right arrow key okay and just put it here ctrl d right arrow key and you can see here it's properly aligning and then maybe press three times every one two and three you can see here and then put it here press ctrl d again one two three and put it here and this is the last one ctrl d 
alt right arrow key three times all right so you can see here our design is done and if you want this can be removed or if you want we can just hold the control shift key and reduce the size and you can give some different color combination also it's up to you all right so let me just select these shapes now one by one and i'm removing i'm going to make it zero percent transparent all right and then depending on what color you need you can just start giving your own colors here you can see here i'm just selecting some different color combinations so any color of your choice you can put it here all right so you can see here the colors has been given and if you like to add some shadow effect you can do that one go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw or rectangle maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency effect go to the effects soft adjust and increase the size you can see here and then bring it here and rotate it a little bit you can see here rotate it and send this to back so this way you can add the shadow effect so i'm just going to bring it somewhat down you can see here so again press ctrl d to duplicate and move it rotate it and send this to back okay and adjust it according to your requirement so like this you can put the uh, this options for all these arrows all right so once this is done what you need to do is the next thing is you can add the icons go to insert icons so i'm going to choose uh, some eight random icons but for you you need to add the icons according to the requirement so just don't randomly uh, choose any icon okay so let me just add eight icons if you want one icon in the center also you can do it so just move it sorry just move this side here and height and width i'm going to make it 0.5 okay and then i'm just going to start putting one by one here you can see here maybe this one it will come here this will come here all right and this is one here and then if you want make this as a white color so shape fill as white so it looks like like this and once this is done our design is almost ready so just go to insert text box and add your text here center align reduce the font size okay and put it here so this is one press ctrl d like this you can just add your own text all right so you can see here with the simplest way you can add the text and if you want you can add some title to it also all right and then if you want to do some animations very simple let me just group this first press ctrl g to group it and then close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to use fly in fly in it should come from top like this and if you want speed double click this one timings make it 0 0.03 go to the effects increase the bounce end and click ok so it comes like this and for this again add animation more entrance effects i'm going to say stretch click ok and stretch from the bottom and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this now it's easy you need to just group it and then using the animation painter apply to the rest of the options